another platform called Recycle. R E C Y K A L. Um, this is started by uh, a guy in Hyderabad who previously founded Mart Jack. I've I've met the founder several years ago, and he moved into waste management completely. He's built this platform, which is basically enabling these organizations, which is basically who have the EPRs connect with the PROs, connect with you know the people who are processing it and recycling it, and the entire ecosystem is now being connected on a platform, just like you were talking about it. Recycle recently raised twenty-two million dollars in funding. I think they've been growing significantly. They from like you know starting three years ago where they were very less in revenue they're now at 60 crores in revenue or something like that just to conclude my point on recycle sahil the company 2018-19 was one crores in revenue 1920 was 21 crores in revenue and 2021 was 60 crores in revenue so they're growing extremely fast and they were profitable even though they've raised 22 million dollars they showed a profit of one cr last year so seems like a and this is something that i also found out in the eway segment that this is actually counterintuitive that when i thought about waste management i thought it would be you know subsidies and like working with the government and it's not going to be a profitable enterprise it needs to be a social thing but these are good businesses that can be profitable businesses that can be built around this yeah i mean Obviously, this industry is super fragmented, right? Because if you look at plastic as a whole, there are literally tens of thousands of players in the plastic industry. Plastic recycling also has a lot of players. Obviously, we spoke about the waste collectors and all of that stuff, right? It's a fragmented industry and building a platform that brings the entire industry together is an obvious play. And uh, this, is a, this is a winner take all market, the platform, because this has huge uh, network effects. Network effects. So yeah, so Recycle is one of them. Uh, then uh, there are two couple of other companies that I found that are doing something similar. There's one called Banyan Nation, or Banyan Nation, however you want to say that. <laughs> that raised seven and a half million dollars. And that's again doing something similar, but not exactly the same. It's using technology to basically uh, connect together the last mile collectors into Banyan's or Banyan's supply chain so that um, you know they can do better traceability. Yeah. For example, uh, there's one company called Nepra, which is the largest PRO in India, they are 90 crores in revenue and uh, they had three crores of profit in FI20. And uh, there's, I found so many others. I'll give you an example. One's called GEM Enviro, Enviro Management. They had 25 crores of revenues and 20% net profit. That is after tax. That is insane. Uh, most businesses don't have 20% 20, 20 of net profits. That's like almost software level. Yeah, exactly. E Eco Rico, which is a public company, so these financials are also out, out there. They made 18 crores in revenue, 18, 19 crores in revenue, and four and a half crores in profit. This is just insane level of net profit margins uh, that can be achieved and, and to help with any funding at that point in time, right? Because you can truly grow this in a customer funded way. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, but yeah, so while I was looking at this market, um, I found, I basically divided it into different kinds of players, right? So one is the PRO. So again, these are the producer responsibility organizations. The second type of company I found was these tech platforms that are trying to like integrate multiple uh, stakeholders in one, into one place. And then yeah, you have your, there's bioplastics as well. So these are, these are basically alternatives to plastic, right? Um, and there are, there are, you have to get approved by the Central Pollution Board in order to have something count as bioplastic. And there are only 16 companies in India that are approved. And there are, there's one group of companies that I find super interesting, okay? Robotics. So now think about the plastics waste that you have. It is in a myriad uh, form where you have your bottles, you have your caps, you have your, uh, like your lace cut chip bags and all that stuff, right? You have to have somebody who sorts it. And so basically robotic tools in order to first identify. So then you have to have some kind of AI system to identify what it is. And then you have to have some kind of robotic arm that will help you with sorting, right? Uh, so there are companies who are doing that again in India. One company that's doing that in India is called Ishitva Robotics. 